fam. Welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at Astrid Acres for another wedding. It's the 28th of August, 2021, and it's, uh, whew, it's a hot one. The, uh, the forecast today just said hot. Didn't really give any specifics as to whether it was gonna be sunny or cloudy or whatever. It just said really hot. So we're getting set up in the barn. Once I'm set up, I'm gonna show you everything that we got going on inside of the barn. We got everything set up. I'm gonna turn you around here and show you everything that we got going on for this wedding. All right, so we got the all white set up today. We've got the two Rockville totems with the Intimidator Spot 360s in white on top. We got the Maui 28 G2s. We've got the monogram, Courtney and Travis. Another Travis bride, we had one two weeks ago. Uh, and I've, I've got a few more this year. It's kind, of, it's kind of strange. I don't usually run into a whole lot of Travises, but I am this year for sure. The barn looks absolutely fantastic tonight. We got about 140 in attendance. The wedding here next week, we have about 160 in attendance. And now we're gonna go and take a look at the ceremony site. It's funny, uh, last Monday, I was on Hanging with Howie and we were talking about ways to protect your gear from the elements. And something that I mentioned that no one else really has an issue with. In this part of the country, we have walnuts. And it hasn't started yet, but in about a month, it will seriously start. And these walnut trees here will start raining down walnuts. And uh, it, it's, it's kind of dangerous. But I've actually found a spot for when they have ceremonies here where I'm completely safe from the walnuts. Let's go check that out. Not today, you walnut bastards. Not today. So here we are, I'm not 100% uh, sure what kind of tree this is, but it doesn't produce anything that's going to fall and destroy my laptop, so we're good. And we are nice and in the shade. Like I said, we have, we have about 140 guests today. They have these aisles set up really cool. I'm loving how they have the aisles set up. It just fans out, makes this really cool layout. And no over-the-top arbor, just some nice floral arrangements. So we'll turn you back around here. We will show you what we got going on with the ceremony system. I don't have my laptop out here yet. It's really, really hot. So I'm waiting for the last bitter minute to get the laptop out here and start playing uh, recession, or I'm sorry, prelude music just because of the heat. I don't want it to go down on me. We've got the Phoenix Pro PTU 70, I believe. Yeah, PTU 71, actually for the battery, for the microphone system. We're using the ELS GO 8BT by American Audio. I'm, I'm on the fence with this speaker. It produces a lot of feedback. It does really well outdoors, but anytime I have to do a ceremony indoors, the feedback this thing produces is horrendous and I can't seem to get it figured out. So I might be looking at an LD Systems speaker, maybe the Maui 5 GO for ceremonies. That way I don't even have to bring the, the tripod anymore. But I really like this setup. It sets up really fast and I don't have to bring a table or any kind of rack or anything like that. This sets up in literally two minutes. So I kind of don't want to get rid of it. Maybe I'll get another one of these, uh, one of these halo bolts and put like a K8 up there from QSC. That would provide me a lot of good sound. The super awesome thing about this wedding and the wedding here next week is the floor plan is almost identical to this one. So I get to leave my stuff over the weekend, which, yes, oh yes. It means I get to get out of here early tonight and I don't have to leave so early next week for this wedding. And by the way, next week starts just this crazy wedding schedule. 
September is not nearly as bad as October, which is actually odd. Past five, six years, September has had way more weddings in October, but with COVID and all the overlaps and all the reschedules, it's stupid. I almost have 20 events in October all together. So yeah, you're gonna get a lot of gig logs and I am probably gonna spread them out over time. That away during the slow season, you still got gig logs coming in every week. Myself. Yeah, baby.
just like that, it's over. Hell of a party. Packed dance floor, beginning to end. They got down. They really knew how to make it happen. I needed this event. I really, really did. I needed a packed dance floor all night. It was a four and a half hour dance block too. So it was really challenging. I did a lot of live mixing. Really didn't spend more than two minutes per song for certain amounts of time. We, uh, we kind of bounced around. We did a lot of slow songs just to keep everybody cool because it was really, really hot. Towards the end, my speakers were really close to thermal shutdown. They started making some really strange sounds. Ended about 15 minutes early though, which I'm kind of grateful. Don't want to blow them up. So yeah, if you like what you see on the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, smash that like button and we will see you all next week.